Well, in humans, they seem to be a factor that's going on and uh, acting together with many other factors that uh, cause aging. But there's good reason to think that as telomeres shorten and cells become senescent and malfunction, that that can contribute to, for example, pro-inflammatory processes that in turn will increase the risks of very common diseases of aging, such as cardiovascular disease. Chronic psychological stress has uh, quite widespread effects throughout the body that one can see read out as increased risks for, for example, cardiovascular disease, a very common disease of aging in the population. And what we find is that um, chronic psychological stress through processes probably involving stress hormones, oxidative damage, uh, for example, uh, systemic uh, cytokines and pro-inflammatory factors, we think that those factors which are influenced by stress shorten telomeres and that in itself will then uh, increase risks of diseases. So chronic psychological stress shortens telomeres and is one of the ways that stress can contribute to the development of diseases of aging. It's not the only mechanism by which chronic stress will contribute to aging, but we should factor it in as one of the factors. Well, what we've learned is that um, the things that we know protect us from the onset and, uh, of, of common diseases of aging, uh, such as exercise and um, good dietary habits, including Mediterranean diet, including of omega-3 uh, fatty acids, and also uh, good sleep patterns and uh, resilience to stress, developing ways of resilience to stress. All of those things we see improving telomeres. We also know that those things are helpful for um, delaying diseases, at least, and perhaps reducing risks of them. And the telomere research gives us a, a much more specific mechanism by which these kinds of changes can be uh, done. So I find it very motivating to be able to know that these sorts of things like exercise and good sleep patterns and eating, eating well and even trying to be resilient to stress and learning ways of being resilient to stress, I, I find it very helpful to know that these are having measurable, quantifiable statistical effects on telomere maintenance and that in turn has clear statistical effects on uh, disease processes and in ways that we begin to understand at the cell level as well.